So this is the 250 um, in its service position. This is the analog section. We have the digital to analog converter here. Uh, and then this is the analog to digital converter up here. And notice that it's the same DAC 80 that is found in the Lexicon 224 and the Model 200. And it's the same successive approximation register found in both of those units. We have all of the uh, input filtering here and we have the output filtering down here. And then that travels to this board and you can see it has four balancing transformers for its output. Let's see the other side. So this is the digital board. Now you'll notice a few things on this board. One, the uh, chip names are all sanded off. I don't know what it is with these Europeans and sanding off ICs, but there you have it. There's also no schematic available for the digital board, so it makes it uh, pretty challenging to troubleshoot. This monstrous thing right here is the RAM for this reverb. It's a total of 128K bits, and it's arranged in 16 by 8. And each one of these RAMs is 1K by 1. Um, this whole thing could be replaced today with like, I don't know, three chips or something, which is insane. Ultimately, the problem with this 250 is that it was missing its most significant bit, so it just sounded like crazy noise on the output, and it ended up being on this RAM board here. The sanded off ICs is not even the start of it. This is actually a wire wrapped board. So all of the logic chips, they are socketed, but there's no printed circuit board for any of these traces. There you have it. That was the EMT 250. Now let's do a little fade out. 